and I was thinking about this topic why is it important to grow your own food and I want to talk about that fruit adventure so my adventures with fruits what we do here is we kind of mimic how nature is but we add even more so why is it important not just good but important to grow your own food well the first reason to me is the security and that comes in many uh, versions so security number one of course food security um, there's very little or if any breatharian so if we want to eat and you know plants are the best for our health fruits ideal and so the security food security number one you're not relying on governments or on subsidies or on other farmers which also yields to the security of the quality the quality is secure because you know how you grow your food hopefully you're conscious enough and use permaculture method research them and even if they cost a little bit more then in the long term you're gonna be healthier food security and safety the quality is much higher higher quality food higher quality life and so what else is it provides you and me with freedom we are more free and in a sense of liberated in the future you may not require much money exchange at all because you'll have a lot of food so you can just live on that food and or exchange the surplus if you'd like to get other goods and services um, that you might be interested in so that's freedom so another freedom is financial freedom why is that it puts you in less of a need to rely on purchasing purchasing of the food um, potentially if you put in enough time and effort you could even make money from it but I don't think it's a good thinking to go into it uh, financial incentive is quite low uh, realistically at least in this part of the world but people are successful at earning money from selling food this is you know the food industry and this is the world uh, revolving around people eating so if you do produce food your security will be tied to finances as well you'll become more free to do more stuff as your food uh, crops grow but uh, I don't think that should be your concern it's a primary interest should be grow food for yourself with enough abundance to feed your family your friends and for excess surplus you can have it as uh, an exchange for either money or other types of food that you may not have yeah freedom and liberty which already puts you away from the current modern system that you'd be dealing with other uh, bodies of control someone else growing your food can also control it they can control the supply they can control the quality 
they can control price so as we talked about finance everything really ties together your security depends on the finance depends on the food depends on the control so if they can control the supply they can control the finance the demand of course that depends just on the market forces if there's something particularly more desirable if a fruit or some other food is better quality or better value for whatever reason that people want it more than other foods then maybe they'll increase the prices and guess what then only people with higher uh, finances deeper pockets can afford it so the variety so maybe it's not going to be as healthy forcing people to get other supplementations or just live in poor health uh, and other pollutions or contaminations that can be going into the food and we're connected to our guts microbiomes our intestines everything is connected to our brains which control our actions thoughts become things the law of attraction and so I would encourage anybody to grow their own food start from as little as you can if the situation does not permit um, just what you can it's all that you can do maybe one step after another as you take one step forward and the next step forward left foot right foot maybe one day you'll come and live in the jungle and grow your own food who knows but maybe that's not for you that's okay too if you can grow a couple tomatoes in your backyard maybe some lettuce and cucumbers some herbs mint and parsley and asparagus and mulberry all these things grow in temperate climates if that's where you are in the subtropics also very common um, yeah easy well easier said than done of course takes some space takes resources takes motivation it takes some physical strength as well which we will find will put you in a healthier state of being your body will become healthier and fitter as you go around nature and as you'll be doing touching soil which will be mineralizing you giving you the all crucial vitamins that are not found elsewhere they have to fortify foods with some fake chemicals such as the b12 which cannot be found anywhere except for the soil the bacteria which is created in the gut so as you touch the soil with your hands as you get exposed to the light we are living beings and we need these vitamins um, as much as we can understand anyway we see that those things are important and they're not found in your grocery store they are found outside so as you grow your food you will notice your life will improve by virtue by the path of just being active being around plants you can grow ornamentals too i like ornamental flowers that are edible edible flowers that are both uses and then also some spinach we have the brazilian spinach which is a good ground cover suppresses other weeds and it is also edible and so i'm doubling the functions here i have edible food which is also in permaculture covering the, the ground the soil which if i didn't put that there i couldn't keep it clear that means i would have to just weed whack all the time and could be some kind of grass or could be some something else so there's some peanut varieties pinto peanut 
which doesn't make the peanut but is a leguminous ground cover perennial has edible flower and that helps ground low so between the brazilian spinach and the pinto peanut all right well keep it this length and move on to the next video let me know in the comments what you think about growing your own food if you are growing your own food tell me what you're growing how you're growing it if you have any questions about it and if you're not well what are you doing with your life grow some food that's what we're here for we're gardeners of this planet we just roam the jungle and eat some fruit or we garden a bit and that was the distinction with those previous ancestors all right so yeah see you in a bit